Welcome to San Joaquin Audits, where we deal with police accountability in the First Amendment. This video is brought to you by Truth Be Told Audits. Watch how petty the officer in this video is as he cites this guy for ashing his cigarette outside of his window. Got pulled over for flicking cigarette ashes out the window. Got accused of littering. Littering, people. Littering with the cigarette ash. Littering. Let's see how this plays out. I've never heard of uh, littering ever with cigarette ash. So if you're walking down the street and you have a cigarette in your hand lit, you're littering the whole time because you have an ash? Yeah, littering. That's a new one on me, people. Let's find out how this goes. Going to find out right now. So right, Danny. Gonna be a warning, right, man? All right. So, so, so I have a question for you. Uh, first name and badge number. El Lozano. That's the number forty. Yeah, I've seen you before. I've seen you before for sure. Uh, so, so if somebody's walking down the street with a cigarette in their hand. They're 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 littering the whole time. Can you go ahead and sign this man so I can get you out here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be seeing y'all later on tonight, too. Tonight's gonna be a busy night for y'all, maybe? You think? Yes, sir, it's Friday, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's usually uh, when I get, that's morning, usually when I get my videos, okay. There you go, man. Questions for me? Uh, no, it's just, okay. it's just I've never heard, because I've seen a lot of people walk down the street smoking a cigarette. As long as they put the cigarette uh, butt in their pocket, it's never been littering, ever. And I'm, you know, 43 years old, and I've never... Ever, I'm gonna look that up. Okay. I am gonna look that. That's good. That's, that's a good thing, man. That, that, I'm gonna look that uh, up because I mean, I mean, I mean, how many people have you surprised with that one? Uh, multiple people, man. Multiple people, yeah, right? Uh, it just had to be in my view, man. Uh, I don't know about the officers. I can't speak on their their behalf. Yeah. Because uh, I see I people walk around downtown San Antonio all the time with cigarettes lit in their hand. Man, and, I'm man. Oh, that's I know that. I know that. But 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 it, it, isn't that kind of like a little bit petty though? I mean, as far as that goes. Uh, not not necessary, man. Uh, in my opinion, doesn't matter. But everybody has their own opinions. But yeah, uh, yeah, of I course, let of you course. get out here, man. All yeah, right, man. All right, all right. We'll care. see y'all later, man. Yes, gotta check that one out. All right. First off, I gotta give some props to Truth Be Told Audits for handling that very well and not losing his temper. This brings me to my next point. Everybody, not just auditors and cop watchers, but everybody should pick up a camera and record the police. How many interactions like this do you think that people have had? We would definitely get a better understanding of the current state of policing if everyone recorded the police in the line of their duty. But until that happens, we must give what we're given. Which brings me to my next video. Coming to you from the legendary channel Joe Citizen Ho. Watching this video how he holds this cop accountable on camera without losing his temper at all. Personally, it's one of the best police interaction videos I've ever seen. Check it out. You just threw your cigarette bud on the ground. You mind picking that up? Did I? Did I? Yes, yes sir, you did and it's on camera. Everybody does that. I'll pick it up. Because I think that's against the law to do that. So you do that to everybody? I don't smoke. Do you do that to the other people? I'm doing that to uh, public servants. Are you a public servant? Yes, sir. Can you pick that cigarette butt up, please? I'll pick it up. Do you live around here, sir? No. Would you want somebody to come around your neighborhood and do that to you? No. Thank you, sir. All right. No problem. I don't know where I threw it out, though. You, you can just pick one, and I appreciate it. And uh, you could dispose of it in a, in a local trash can or something. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. You see people, this is how we win. We press record and we flip the accountability and put it back on them. We've seen through the decades heavier policing with more attention towards officer safety than public safety. And still, despite the growing number of police officers in this country and the paid propaganda to ensure that they're supported, the crime rates still seem to be going up. With the widespread use of cameras becoming more and more common, it brings transparency, and transparency puts the power back into the hands of the people. We now have the power to document whenever we see an officer doing something bad. And due to cop watchers and auditors becoming more and more common, we now have the power to start holding these people accountable, 
getting them fired, getting them stripped of their qualified immunity, and ultimately informing the public on who these people are. I want to give one last big shout out to Truth Be Told Audits. You all go over to his channel and subscribe and let him know San Joaquin Audits sent you. He maintained a very level head and demeanor and I know he'll do a good job at holding police officers accountable if that's what he chooses to do. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Thank you.